Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Earthbound. I'm a little early today, in, uh, in case you didn't notice. I have, um, I have things to do today that will probably prevent me from streaming later. So, there I am. I did start my day off pretty well though. I made a, made a crepe. It was tasty. As you can see, I uh, put pepperoni and an egg and uh, the upside down glass container is the cheese sauce that I make with the lime and whatnot. So, cheesy pepperoni tasty nomage. Anyway, I've got about two hours, roughly speaking, two hours today, because uh, I have a friend coming over in about two and a half. So we're gonna jump right into it today, and uh, I guess we're gonna try to try to learn things about this city. <laughs> so last time uh, we made our way through the, through the desert. And uh, we found out that things are a little bit, a little bit funny. Meet a beautiful set of women. Let me tell her I say hi. I, I feel that. Do, 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 do. Imagine telling that to a kid that you just walked, like met in a hotel lobby. But like, <laughs> how old is Ness anyway? Like fourteen? I know he's he's a young teenager of some variety. Maybe. Is he even a teenager? I forget what the official uh, official word is. But anyway, um, we know that there's something weird going on with the city. Like the mayor is a piece of shit, I think, is what we've learned from the inhabitants of the world. Extra cranky lady. Oh, Lord. I'm just gonna... I imagine she can't be that hard, right? 48. Oh, she has a lot of defense, though. And does 64 damage. So... What am I doing? But yeah, um, I didn't stream yesterday because... There was a reason. I had a good reason for it. <laughs> I've partially forgotten, though. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It was just something. I did start my taxes and then thought that I was missing a form that I needed so that I stopped doing my taxes. And then I was talking to someone and realized that I didn't actually need the thing that I thought I needed. Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those are really this project are allowed to enter. Ape software development team. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not really sure what to uh, what to look for here. Oh, cafe. Bit of a rundown place from the looks of it. Just for decoration. Hi. What? Does Mr. Go to Garden Mona totally come here often? Hey Luke, time to get up. Can never happen. Actually that's not true. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. Shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Montoli's here? You got that wrong, kid. I bet you... Hold on. Let me grab the localization book. I bet you they they probably don't talk about espresso here in the original. That will be my bet. Flabbergasted in foresight. I'm looking for the... Uh, looking to see if they got the cafe people anywhere. Yep. Similar changes were made throughout this area of Foresight. Mentions that alcohol re were rewarded to reference coffee and coffee related drinks. So that's not, not too unsurprising. References to drinking and being drunk were written out or rewarded entirely. This man outside the bar, Mother Two, is clearly drunk and disorderly, but in Earthbound he's simply depressed and crying as he sips his cappuccino. His image wasn't modified though, so he clearly has the red cheeks of a drunkard and he's still holding a drink that looks like beer. That's funny. So yeah, that's Nintendo's uh, localizers having to abide by crazy people's policies. I used to be Monotoli's employer, and then I realized the scheme made my company go bankrupt. Now it's something we're taking away, now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. 
I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here. Watching to see if he ever drops in. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. No information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. Oh, that's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. Master Pokey? All right, what, what's Pokey doing in this town now? I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Next time I knew someone asked, who is it? Really surprising. Maybe I just imagined. Oh, that's a good hint. Where's the bathroom in this place? Maybe there's a, like a secret, secret wall or something also. What is, what's going on here? Do you see it? Like the weird... I already talked to you. Okay. Well, if we find a bathroom, I guess we should uh, talk to it. Also, I think the the man that was referenced is probably outside here somewhere, maybe. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Oh, there he is. Here's the drunk man who I was just talking about. His red cheeks. No one know anything, girl. Montoli Toti stole everything from me, including my house and land. <laughs> They're evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli, they're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry to a cappuccino. <laughs> Noisy. Nosy, sorry. Probably said Urasai. Alright, uh... What about the hospital? What, what, what kind of stuff is happening in the hospital in this city? Just the regular healers. Anyone special? No, although I, I don't really talk to the nurses too often. One person requested a shampoo and cut. They must have thought a bad hair day could be treated at the hospital. Oh, that's awful. Either that or they wanted their medical insurance to cover their grooming. Some of these jokes are really bad. I mean, I think they're intentionally bad, but some of them are real bad. Oh, hi. Two people. Grandma's gonna get better, huh? I'm just enjoying being with my grandchildren. I'll be better soon. Do you have grandchildren? I'm 14. <laughs> I'm like 12. Yes, yes, you seem a little young for that. What do you say if I say yes? Oh, at your age? Oh, the youth of today shock me. My lands. Yeah, can't you see? This girl right here, we're married and, uh, and Lloyd is our son. That's the new family dynamic here. This is not a hotel, staying for the night is not permitted. Can, can I rest here? That'd be really funny if you could. So anyway. Whew. Yeah. So there's a new, there's a new Genshin uh, event. Uh, event doesn't really feel like the right word most of the time for these things. I mean, like the lantern event was definitely an event, you know, it changed the whole region of the world and added new items and had a whole bunch of like quests to do and stuff. And it was, it was pretty fun overall. Um, the current event is like, go hunt two big angry monsters a day. And that's about it. Granted, you know, I'm always happy to get new stuff, but still. I heard that a guy who looks like monotoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. Was that the bar I was at? Did I talk to you already? Boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? <laughs> Alright, check out your name. All right, Anna, you have to lead the party now. They're on to us, boys. Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. What? I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Are... I gotta know. I gotta know. It, it can't... It can't be solitaire. Right? Like... 
Don't you think it's probably like a reference to something else? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> a man in the lobby discusses his latest escapade. In Mother 2, he says there was a Monopoly tournament last night. Man, I lost big time. I'll invite you to play sometime. You can even play on the Super Famicom, actually. And this is indeed true. By the time Mother 2 was released, two Monopoly games were available on the Super Famicom. The Japanese version of the Super NES. Shigesato Itoi is famous for his love of Monopoly. Really? He's even the chairman of the Japan Monopoly Association. So it's no wonder that he and Ape were involved in both Super Famicom Monopoly games. Earthbound's localization team, ever wary of potential legal landmines, chose to remove this Monopoly reference. It was instead replaced with Solitaire. <laughs> Neat. So there you go. An elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotelli's office. Sure you are. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotelli building? Oh, you know. Just, uh... Just looking. Elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. Goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Right? Wouldn't it be nice? Elite business people with their 47th floor luxury suites. Also, I like that she says it's only for uh, Master Pokey's use, but then we still get to ride up it for some reason. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. I'm, I'm pretty sure Mr. Monotoli might be the mob. Whoops, almost gonna beat you up. So, uh, is Pokey in here? There he is. Hey, hey, old buddy, old pal. Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la, don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey! Get it? <laughs> I'm now Gildegard's monotoly partner, and I give him political and economic advice. Heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Montoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! No, but... But your dad. He keeps sending my dad money, and I want you to stop. We don't need it. You must never show your face around Master Pokey, you got that? Hey, let me go back in. Hey, wanna fight? They don't like me. He's got this nice... Here we go, now I'm the boss. No problem here. Did you just say the same thing? Yeah, okay. So nothing, nothing new. Man, Pokey's really going up in the world though, huh? First he's just like hanging out with a cult, and now he's hanging out with a different form of a cult. Do you think about it? Mobs are sort of like cults for money. Okay, so what are the what are the other places? What's this room? Oh, are, are, are you? Oh wait, no, that's his dad, right? You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's a perfect proverb to describe me. Ha! 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 Oh, my jaw is tired. Man, laughing maniacally is hard work. Wonder if his mom is uh, still back at the house or is she equally evilly now? Private elevator, not proper method in a Look, All right, all right. So, uh, Pokey's joined the mob. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm channeling my, uh, my inner rich man, I guess. Because we all know it's not an outer rich man for sure. All right, so that's this building. Let's uh, let's look around some more. Oh wait, didn't the department store close? Yeah, okay. So we already we checked this one out before. 
I suppose we haven't checked the mill. Yeah, okay. We haven't checked the middle of the uh, city yet. So, what I assume is probably City Hall. Oh wait, do you say? Oh no, it's a museum. A new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runway 5. Totally bonkers about her. Good to know. <laughs> Alright. Hi. The Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece for the entrance fee. Is that okay? Please enter. You'll find an academic researcher inside. Reminds me of, uh, I think the last museum that I went to was in Michigan when I visited my friend um, who was getting his master's at um, the University of. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Huge! Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Oh, we're getting a picture from the nice man. Let me take a sip of water real quick. <clears throat> Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. I, I really don't understand why this man exists. Whoops. Like, is he just coming down for like magic ant or something every day? Dinosaur and bones believed, believed to be from Southern Scaraba. Scaraba. Scar, Scaraba. Scar, Scaraba. Don't ask for any details, our research is continuing. I wish I could like see higher up. Oh, you must be the researcher. I'm so happy that some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. One of the only famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of Scaraba, and there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, Please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Sure, dude. He's got like some, he's got a good amount of five o'clock shadow going on right now. Like you can see it on his lip. Okay, but, uh, so Scothern, Scothern, Scothern Scaraba. Southern Scaraba has dinosaurs. Maybe that's a hint as to where we're supposed to go after all this. Um, can I get behind this building at all? Like, is there a park or anything going on? Oh, yeah, kind of. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, we, we talked to this dude, right? Yeah, he's the one who tells us to go to the to Jackie's Cafe. Which we already went to, and then they said there was nothing there, right? Might as well go back inside though, now that we've explored. Just in case anything changed. No. Okay, wait, so this guy's hint though. I knocked on the wall into the restroom door. I mean, it feels like a hint, doesn't it? Like maybe we're supposed to like do something, but I really don't know. Because, like, it's not like we have a, a knock thing. And also, there's no, like, bathroom door anywhere. Although he says he knocked on the wall itself. But I can't imagine that they would, like, just make one random section on the wall be something you had to talk to, though. Huh. Okay. Not sure. So, the... Let's think here. The department store is closed. Oh, we haven't gone to the food store yet. The department close. The department store is closed. Jackie's Cafe has a bit of a hint, but the dude isn't there. Um, 
What else? Dinosaur Museum and oh, there's a I forgot. There's a new singer here and we haven't actually gone in yet. I think I walked by last time. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks. Alright, let's get some music started. Anyone to talk to in the lobby? No. Uh, dressing room? Or manager. So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? <laughs> no, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. Police would probably say, Hey, you guys! Or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf? You have to find buried gold. Hint, hint. Or you don't be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> okay, so there's a good hint. We know of a guy in the desert who's going to share his gold with us. So we'll probably have to go back there. Oh, wow, this is a much nicer theater than the one in the uh, two side. Can I talk to any of these people? <laughs> Good. Imagine you're just trying to enjoy a show and three kids keep walking around trying to talk to you. Also, this person almost has a face. Hi. I wonder, can I like take my CEO? Oh, wait, here we go. When Ness arrives, the 105 told me to let him in, so please come in. Oh, cool. Hi, fellas. We're so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle women. Or, or sorry, handle money or women. Do wop, do do wop. To meet Goto God Monitor, you'll need our help. I don't know exactly why, it's just a hunch. <laughs> you guys so much, sorry. Okay, yeah, but do you want to do a show? Because I kind of want to see you guys perform. Alright, but I think I know what to do now at the very least. Oh, here we go, here's the show. Have I got a bomb show for you tonight, kids? Ah. Just kidding. Look at those sweet dance moves. That's pretty good. That was good. That was that was a fun little song that they did. Also, reminder, uh, it's the Runaway 5, and there are only five members. The keyboardist is not part of the band, apparently. Oh, hi. Okay. So, I know what we need to do now, from all the hints that we've been given. So, let's go, let's go out to the desert. Uh, my controller is not, like, really meant for this. I suppose I could take the bus. Meh. Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go ahead. Oh, my bad. I like the little details like that though. Uh, imagine a world where the bus is on time. 
Uh, ooh. Wait, it's six bucks for the lot of us? Alright, so that's fine. I don't mind having low money, I just never want to be in the situation where we can't, uh, where we can't save. Hmm. So while that goes... Here we go. Alright, so uh, the hole in the ground I think is above the drugstore. I think. Are we strong enough to just... Yeah, we are. Cool. Here we go. Oh, hi, monkey. Oh, wait, right. This is that dude. Also, let's... I want to fight this dude because he has awesome music. It's going to suck. He's going to hurt us a bunch, but... I love his music so much. And he's weak to... Hypnosis, I think. Oh, no, 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 Ness, 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 I need you to heal. I need you to heal. What, Magnet? Oh, she's got the guts. No, Anna! Fuck. It, like, gave me the opportunity and then I failed. Fuck. Okay, we need to kill the uh, the ad first because when the the smiling sphere gets destroyed, he explodes and causes a shit ton of damage. So we don't want uh, we don't want the enemy to be around when that happens. But I do really like this music, though. It reminds me of, um... Almost reminds me a little bit of Perturber. A little bit. So I guess, should we go back to Tucson to heal Anna? Or is there... I don't actually think that there's a, uh, there's not a doctor out here in the middle of the desert, so. There it is. Ugh, yikes. Although our offense went up a whole bunch, which is really nice. But man, poor, poor Anna. See, I hit B, or hit, I hit back when Anna was like holding on by a thread there. Oh, I do have a like noodle cup. Uh, I'm gonna save the noodle cup though, because that's probably best used during the boss fight and not just, you know, more being a dumbass. Just checking to see if he had anything. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Or wait, no, no, we want this side of the street. 
Do, 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 do. So sorry. My uh, my inability <laughs> to keep Anna alive is that we got to take a short detour before we go and, you know, find the gold, as it were. But that's okay. Um, I finished rereading Land of the Lustrous last night. Sorry, I had to like, <laughs> in my brain, it's like, oh, it's Hosaki no Kuni. And I'm like, wait, no, that's not the, the name that everyone knows it by. Um, I finished rereading all of Land of the Lustrous's manga last night. And it was really, really good and really sad. Like whenever I finish reading it, I'm always like, just like left with emotional trauma <laughs> from poor, poor Fosa situation. Okay, there's the hospital. Like, uh, I don't want to spoil it because it's such a good, it's so good, but rereading it is, is a great thing to do because there's so many things that happen in the early chapters that have double meanings when you know what's going to happen later on. And it's done like so well that you got to really appreciate the writer. Oh, I don't have enough money for any of this shit, do I? Uh, there's not a thing in here. Like a lot of things that you can interpret one way versus the other. And it's just, it's good. It's good stuff. That's that's all I got. Definitely give it a read if you uh, if you like emotional trauma in your life. You know, good stories with emotional trauma, I should say. Uh, I don't remember how much it is, so let's grab two hundred bucks. That will last us for a little while. Mm -hmm. But I just feel so bad for folks so though. Like, ugh, reading reading chapter 95 and you get to the end of it and then you see the oh Hoseki no Kuni will be on hiatus and it's like no why why does Fos have to wait 10,000 years and we have to wait 10,000 years too why why do you do this to me all right I want to rest before we go back out so And wait, I oh, know that we're in three. I was gonna say, it's like, wait, isn't uh, isn't the preschool in this town? But no, it's not. So instead, we will rest at the hotel to get our pee back for Anna because she's fairly useless without it. One hundred eighty dollars. Okay. I guess it's like fairly normal prices. Also, it wasn't until Mr. Saturn or Mr. Saturn Valley, Saturn Valley, what are the name of the places called, um, that I realized that you can just go and check a ATM and you don't have to actually go into your inventory and use the ATM card like you had to in, um, in Mother 1. Also, Lloyd, what the hell? You didn't fix anything in your sleep? I like expect one thing from you, Lloyd. It's for you to fix your pipes and all your other stuff. Why are you asleep? <sighs> Alright. You know, as much as as much as oh, I don't have enough money for this, do I? Or maybe I do. How much do I have? Eight bucks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. We're just barely scraping by on our last dollar. Um, I'm fairly happy. Where I live, there's actually decent uh, public transportation. And actually more than decent. During the, during the pandemic, they've swapped the buses to free, which has been very nice for whenever I've needed to use one. And also, I assume, extremely nice for all the people who, like, you know, have to split their money in lots of different ways and get less hours at work and have to commute to work via bus and not having to pay like, you know, a good a good chunk of your paycheck over to, uh, to bus fares every month is probably really helpful. So 
It's a nice thing. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, I think there's a, um, a phone in here. So why don't we save? Oh, it's a free phone too. Thanks, Dad. I am so rich. Do, 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 do. Okay. This time we won't fight the smiling thing. So this isn't this is not the gold hole, if I remember right. It's just it's just where that one dude is. So actually, let's not let's not be here yet, because I don't know how to disturb that dude. But the hole with the go with the gold is this direction, right? Like all the construction equipment was over this way, I think. We have sunstroke already. What up, Buffalo? You know how there's that, um, I don't know what to call it. It's not an idiom. That, that thing about like how Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo is a sentence, apparently. What the hell does that sentence mean? Does anyone ever like stop to think about that? Like, I mean, a Buffalo is a Buffalo. There's that, right? Is it also an adjective? Like, are you saying a buffalo-y buffalo when you say buffalo buffalo? And then, what's the third one? Like, is to buffalo a verb? Can can you, like, are you buffaloing a buffalo-y buffalo? And if that's the case, then why isn't it like, you know, like mixed up like that? And, you know, using suffixes and adjectives that it, that it needs. Wait a minute, was that hole there before? Buffalo means bully or harass. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. So, like, when you when you buffalo a buffalo, then you're bullying a buffalo. So, like, buffalo tipping. Small house will please stay the night. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Yay, Lloyd. Yes, thank you. The broken pipe became the shield killer. I'm suddenly thinking about the video game Condemned. I think it was on the 360, where like the main weapon is a pipe. How many times can you use this? Breaks through the enemy shields during a battle can be used many times. Wow, Lloyd is actually becoming a really, like, pretty useful character overall. I mean, he can slow down enemies with the slime generator, break their shields, and restore his own HP. Not bad, Lloyd. Not bad at all. Let's save here. I have a feeling that the uh, the hole over yonder is probably going to lead us down to a dungeon, I would think. So, we might need to get paint ready soon. I can't... I can't get in there. Oh wait, from here? Although maybe we should talk to these people first. Hi. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig, I can't help it. Out walking the desert must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? They sell uh, popsicles. Thanks. And then a healer. Okay. I think you should dig somewhere else. Yeah. If they have a live broadcast from the dig. I can check out the day while relaxing on the floor. Been watching the dig for a while. I wonder what to find. Well, I'm hoping for gold. Preferably a million dollars, so that we can go uh, save the Runaway Five again. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, buddy. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I could continue on. I think I'm a plea also from worrying too much. Help us to really do anything. All right. This is definitely a dungeon. Give me a second. I'm just gonna pop open paint so we can make a map as we go. 
as per usual. And uh, let's zoom in a bit. And where is that's video capture? Right? Window capture. Here we go. So we're starting. Well, I'll just throw it in the middle because we don't really know where we're going yet. But first, you wink. Oh, I gotta enable background input if I want to do this. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, we have a fork in the road. So I'll remember there's a, a left path, but we'll go right first. We'll do the right hand rule for a bit. Okay. So we have a an exit. Label it as a one. Um let's just let's follow it for now. So it's gonna go to our left apparently. Yank. Oh, there's snakes here. Oh, and, and ducks and all sorts of stuff. You engage the thirsty coil snake. Bonk. Mm. Wonder if it's weak to freezing. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. All right, Lloyd didn't get a chance to spy, but it's not bad. It's a good, good chunk of experience too. Are you a rope? What are you? The noose man and its cohorts. Uh, I would like to know more about the noose man. Wow, they're weak. Very weak, wow. Vulnerable fire and brain shock. Hmm. So these, I don't know if I'm over leveled maybe, or if these people are just supposed to be weak. All right, so there's an up path here. There's also, oh, I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take a best shot. The guardian digger attacked. I like that he has the number three in the background. That's good. All right, here, I'll, um, where's, where's my window capture there? For the fight, we'll, we'll put that away. Hmm. I'm going to assume that he's probably pretty strong, but also maybe weak to one of these. Let's try to put him to sleep. Why not? And I don't know if he's going to have any like P skills, but if he does, let's just block him prematurely, pre preemptively, sorry. Did that just say Nesmus is home? Do you just not do your attack because you're depressed, Ness? Did I spy on him already? I think I totally missed it if I did. Vulnerable to flash, okay. Oh, he's a mole. I guess he's not used to bright lights. That kind of makes sense. He has really high defense, so let's knock that down a bit and also use the shield killer. Oh, does this shield block that? No, okay. There we go. Ouch. Doesn't stop him from hitting us, but I'm feeling pretty good. And, uh, well, kind of prefer to use the HP sucker with Lloyd. Hmm. 
There you go. Cool. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't bad at all. Nope, oh, and we get a IQ capsule. Nice. Uh, we want to give that to Lloyd, if I remember right. Because that will help him. Uh, that will help him make stuff when he sleeps. Remember how in the first game you could talk to skulls? Do you think you can talk to the ones in those ones? Nah, that's too bad. Okay, so, uh, yoink. Although, hold on. I'm gonna put a red X there because we fought a boss. Uh, so pretty easy. I think the ducks die in like one hit. Yep. With how easy that is, I'm surprised that the game doesn't just give us the, uh, like the quick fight type option. Okay, I'm through a pretty, pretty narrow path here. This is, this is a much more interesting path though. Ooh, good job, Anna. Good dodge. Okay, let's go this way first. There's also a path down. Oh boy, I'm gonna run into my own map in a second. Oops, all right, lucky. Three. Uh, maybe we'll throw it. Oh God, I don't know. Well, I mean, we can always rearrange the map as we need to, I suppose, so I won't worry too much about it. I'm gonna assume there's maybe a mole down here though. This looks like a mole room. So let's have Anna do her best to recover. Since... Ah, oh, that sucks. It's too bad. It would have been nice to be able to use the uh, surrounding like little baby enemies to get our PP back up so that we could take out the mole with like as many many abilities as we wanted to. But that's okay. We can always drain the mole, I think. Yep. Oh wait. Oh. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Hold on. So wait, I bet you, do you think the start is right over here then? Like it's just one big connected thing and this piece right here fits into here? That could be the case. Unless it's another one of those interesting, interesting ones where it like connects like that haunted mansion did. But no, no, actually I think it might be. All right, hold on, let's find out. Um, oh, we gotta fight these guys again. I'll head as if it should connect to the start. And if it does, then we'll uh, revise our map a little bit. Okay, so this is that path. So we wanna go down here instead. If it curves to the right, up, oh, yep. And then the foreman, yeah. 
cool. Okay, so. Okay, hold on. So that's this, which means that this connects up like this. And this is actually my three. Right? Oh, that's kind of, oh, well, no, the three, it doesn't really exist. That's, that's why. So this is actually just two. Cool, okay. So to remove confusion for me, uh, where's the, where's the select tool? There it is. I'm just gonna chop off some of this bit. Yoink. I know it's not the most exciting thing to see me, you know, fiddle with a map, but it uh, it makes my life easier. So, okay. So start, go up. We don't need to go that way anymore. Oh, they all respond. Uh, Coil Snake. Can I drain you of any key? I know there's a free heal like right outside the door pretty much, but nope. Okay. He only has his poisonous bites. Why are you so... Why is this snake so much harder than the other one? So, if we head down this bottom path, past this wonderful snake, okay, then we are connecting down to something else. Oh, a spider. New enemy. The gigantic ant, sorry, not a spider, my bad. I don't know why, but I feel like he's probably weak to fire, but I'm gonna use freeze anyway. Ooh, good hit. Fire and freeze. Nice. Ness, why do you miss home so much? Do we actually need to bring Ness home every now and then in order for him to like not be so sad? Or like have him call his mom or something? We're on an adventure, Ness. Come on. You got shit to do. So, um, we don't, we don't need this either, do we? Now that I think about it. Okay. Bonk. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm making pizza today. By the way, I have the dough that's been rising since like, I don't know, a couple hours ago or so. But it's kind of cool in my apartment, so I think it's going to take it a while to rise anyway. Oh, hello. But uh, I have a friend coming over later because it was his birthday yesterday and I took it. That's not good. Sudden guts pill. Oh, we have a caramel too. Okay. Yank. X marks the spot. And here's another ant. Do I get more health or is that his max right now? I feel like he only had 150-ish or so. Oh, I guess he has more now. 165, okay. And Ness keeps losing motivation, which is 
bad. Maybe we do need to take a quick break and go back to his hometown and say hi to his mom or something. It's weird, I don't... I wonder if it's just like a certain amount of time has passed or a certain number of steps or something and then Ness starts getting really homesick. But I don't remember, like I remember him doing that every now and then, but not this frequently. Okay, so there's a path there. Uh, let's head up first. Wait a minute. Does this... Three. So now this is actual three, I think. There's a mall. The, the world's worst X right there. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Wait, what? I already killed number three. Are you all secretly number three? Let's start off big. See how well that does. Oh wait, it's not hypnosis, it's flash we want to do. Ness thought about eating some pizza. Ness, what the fuck, man? You just took 102 damage because of that. Okay, but Lloyd, Lloyd got him though, so okay. Cool. Big offense up. And sweet, maximum HP went up by 29. Wow, everyone's getting old babies today. Old baby. But also, Ness, what the fuck? Here, Ness, you want a pizza? Hold on, wait, how much? Like, if we just, if we feed him pizza, he's homesick. It says so right there in his status. Let's see if eating pizza will fix that. You still feeling homesick, buddy? Yes, he is. All right. Coin of defense. And Anna took it. Uh, 68. So, oh, hey, Jimmy. How's it going? 68, 67. So actually, yeah. Did the coin of slumber do anything else for us? No, right? Defense and luck. Is coin of defense only defense and that's why it's uh, bigger? Nope, they both do defense and luck. Weird. All right. I mean, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Remember how I said earlier that I had a friend coming over and he was supposed to arrive in like two and a half hours? He just asked me if now is good. Hold on. How soon is now is what I will ask him because I kind of wanted to beat this dungeon. But at the same time, we could we could go and uh, fix Ness's homesick problem and have that be the end, I suppose. 15 minutes from now, okay. You can bash the noose man, how about that? I think he's maxed out right now. So yeah, I'm going to have to cut the stream shorter than I thought. I thought I was only going to get two hours, but it looks like I'm going to get an hour and ten. Also, I'm pretty sure How Soon Is Now is either an album or a song title from Taking Back Sunday. At the very least, it's a song lyric. I think. Or maybe that's just too, how close is close enough. Maybe. 
No, I feel like How Soon Is Now. That's got to be an album name, right? How Soon Is Now? That sounds so familiar. Oh, and I leveled up, though. That's nice. Just by one for pretty much everything, though, which is kind of depressing. Okay. We're, we're down here right now, right? So there's... So there's some treasure right there. Um, I'm, I think I'll have to use an escape mouse to get out quickly. Um, as I was saying though, I have pizza dough rising because I got a cast iron pan recently and I decided that I wanted to make a, um, make a pizza, pan pizza with it. <laughs> so that's my, my big exciting plan. And since it was my friend's birthday yesterday and he's in town, I figured that I would, you know, kind of do something with that as well. So have him come over, have pizza. I also have some mint chocolate chip ice cream. So maybe we'll do like Chuck E. Cheese style. <laughs> have games and uh, pizza and ice cream. Calorie stick. What a calorie stick. 60 HP. Not bad. Don't need it yet, but it's, it's good. Confront the noose. Boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. But as far as toppings go on pizza, pepperoni is like the definite. And then besides that, I'm not really sure what else yet. <sighs> I do want to see my, my friend, but I'm still like a little disappointed that I don't get as much time as I was hoping for with this game. Like I started streaming early today because that's poison, right? Um, because I knew he was going to come over. But I guess I should have started even earlier instead of making crepes this morning. Really? Sorry, Ness. Just, just deal with the pain. It's like those silly memes. On a scale of... Oh no, it's not scale. But the, uh, like, how do you deal with pain? And there's like four answers and one of them is I just live with the pain and it's always like Ryan Reynolds making that face from Blade Runner 2049 or like any other of the other thing. Wait, did you really not heal yourself, Ness? Alright, this goes up. Oh Jesus. That's a lot of noosemen. Wow, that is a lot of enemies. We're gonna have to get some anime on them. Actually, that might have been a waste of Ness's P. I think the fire might actually take them out. Oh wait, no, they're not ducks. Sorry, news, news people have more duck, more than uh, more HP than the ducks. Also, did Ness just not attack or it just hasn't been his turn yet? Oh, uh, well, no, I definitely can't attack, Never mind. Man, being homesick is really, really bad for Ness. But with the power of God and anime on our side, we cannot hang ourselves. Hmm. Wow, one of them survived. It's like those silly meme pictures. There, there's one. By the way, don't... <laughs> oh, this one's perfect. Don't take this as a, you know, a do this. Oh God, why? But it just reminds me of these pictures where you have like the noose and the happy anime girl beckoning to you to come to the other side. Don't do that, please. Okay, my 
my uh, my map's a little bit off here, but hmm. I feel like this might connect like back up to that one or something, you know. Oh wait, no. Well, maybe not actually, or maybe actually because that path on the right looks very familiar, doesn't it? Oh, it's an escape mouse. Picnic lunch. Oops. Also, Anna needs to heal. Croissant. Ooh, do I have to come along too? Uh, not yet, little buddy. Okay, and there's like a fork here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is on our map, I'm gonna put question marks. Whoops. What did I just say? Um, I'm going to put question marks on the areas we haven't explored yet. And then, unfortunately, because I need to go, we're going to use the exit mouse to run away. And I'm going to go and we're going to hop on that bus and head back to uh, cure Ness of his homesickness. Because it's it's really not good during during fights at all. Although, you know what, before we decide to just go off all the way back home, because that would take a while, let's find out what happens if we just call Ness's mom instead, like if that will resolve the issue. Hello, Ness? What's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you homesick? <laughs> well, I knew there'd be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. So, do you feel any better? Well, I'd better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye! Click. Dee, dee, dee. Ness got over me. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, we didn't have to go all the way. Very cool. Alright, so we'll save. Um, but I, I still have to go, though, unfortunately. So we will pick up the, uh, the gold digging spelunking adventure next time. Um, not sure, actually, when... Uh, it would probably be Monday night. Probably. That's my guess anyway, because I think my friend might stay with me for a couple days. So, anywho. So have a good rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are, everyone. And I hope you have a great, uh, a great weekend. There's the window capture. So, bye for now, everyone.